guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Yuki. Today, as you can tell, we are doing a huge Aritzia haul. I picked up a bunch of items that are going to be great for like that winter to spring transition. So this is the bag that I received in the mail a couple days ago and I haven't opened it yet. I've been waiting to do this video so that I can try everything on and give you guys my true first impressions. I'm going to put this down because it's really heavy. Very excited to show you guys and kind of take you through the process of making that decision of keeping versus returning something. So yeah, hope you guys find this fun as well. Before I begin, I do want to share the sponsor of today's video. It is Relery Jewelry. I'm wearing their jewelry today and I'll be showing you guys how I style them throughout this haul. And I'm really excited to share the brand with you guys because I think that they are first of all so beautiful and second of all they only use precious metals so no brass or nickel everything is very high quality it's made to last so you know that you're getting a really high quality piece i love wearing my outfits with minimal jewelry and these pieces are right up my alley in terms of style i love them so much i'm wearing the herringbone necklace it hangs so beautifully on the body also wearing the square signet ring you can actually get this one engraved as well with your initials or something like that. It's really minimal, but it really does make a statement and I'm just in love with it. Love their style. They have so many different minimal pieces that I've got my eye on. So I'm gonna link them in the description below. So be sure to check that out. And thank you again, Relary, for sponsoring this part of the video. The first thing that I picked up is this cashmere hoodie. I got this in the cream color and it's a size small. So this one is 100% cashmere which I thought was really cool. It's like a hoodie silhouette, but it's still that cashmere material. So you can dress this up or down, I feel like. So it's not just a loungewear piece, in my opinion. We'll see if that changes once I put this on. But looking at this sweater though, like I can see some cat hairs all over this one. Not a huge deal. It looks like it does shed a little bit. Like I do see some hairs already on my black sweater. I usually like to buy 100% wool sweaters from Aritzia. So not really familiar with cashmere, but in comparison to my wool sweaters i will say that i do prefer wool more that might just be my personal preference yeah, you guys i really wanted to like this hoodie but it's a little bit too casual i don't know i'm just not i'm not super in love with it i think it's also the cashmere i don't think i'm ready for cashmere like i love my wool sweaters from Aritzia. also on an unrelated note i feel like it's definitely cat hair that's on this hoodie because i feel like i'm getting an allergic reaction from it could be placebo but I don't know. I'm just not in love with it. I think I'm gonna end up sending this one back because girl's not ready for cashmere, you guys. Next thing that I got is a wool sweater. This one is the Gwell sweater. It's a cropped wool turtleneck and this is what i'm talking about you guys like this knit i love this kind of quality of knit in a sweater and i think that this only comes in wool this one just feels really nice and chunky and looks really clean and expensive so i will say that i do prefer this material more this one has a really gigantic turtleneck which is like one of my favorite things about turtlenecks because i have a really long neck and i used to be so self-conscious about it but i do like wearing turtlenecks i like how I look in them and I love a big funnel neck like this. So this is the Guel turtleneck on. As you can see this funnel is massive. What I always like to do if turtlenecks are too long like this is just to kind of tuck them in at the bottom. And this way you can kind of reduce the sides on a little bit, makes it a little bit more wearable. I really do like the fit. I love the knitted material, the same knit that a lot of my favorite, favorite Aritzia wool sweaters have. As you can see, like even though it's cropped, it's still long enough to cover your waist with a pair of high-waisted bottoms, which I exclusively wear. So this is definitely a very wearable turtleneck. I think because it is a little bit cropped, it's good to transition from winter to spring with this turtleneck as well. Not 100% on the color yet. I feel like it also leans a little bit towards salmon rather than beige. I may exchange it for another color. Man, I kind of forgot what I got in here. You guys all know that I love my Canberra cardigans. So 
This one is a darker color. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know that I own this in their Heather Birch color. But this one is this beautiful coffee color. It's in the color dark sand brown. And I have this one in a size small. My other one is also a size small. And I think it's just super flattering on my body type. I love that I can wear these kind of cardigans like open or closed, especially if you want options for different looks without having to own like 50 different sweaters for every occasion. So I love this cardigan. I don't think anyone is surprised I am just obsessed with this brown color. I almost wish that I got that turtleneck in this color because I think it's just, it's, I, I just like it so much more. And I'm just a big fan of prop cardigans in general. I think they're so flattering. And this one in particular, it's 100% wool, super warm, comfortable, good quality. The sleeves are just a little bit oversized, which is subtle but I love and I think the neckline is perfect for highlighting your collarbone and just highlights any accessories that you're wearing as well. I can't get enough of the silhouette. It's probably my absolute favorite cropped cardigan style and I'm so happy that I got this brown one. I am definitely without a doubt keeping this one. This next piece I have, if you guys watch my what not to buy second version, you'll see that I did not recommend the white only turtleneck and I got a comment that said that I had the old version of the only turtleneck and that the new version is a little bit shorter than the one that I own. So I got the only turtleneck again. It's also in the color oak. Just off of first impressions, this one does look shorter. In terms of the feel, I feel like this is very similar to the only turtleneck that I already own. And I will still have to say that I prefer the freshman turtleneck better. It's just, I guess, personal preference. This one is leaning a little bit more towards cotton, while the freshman turtleneck leans more towards spandex, which I prefer just a little bit more. I will say it is shorter than the version I own, but is the quality really different? Um, I don't know. This is what it looks like tucked in. I still think that the freshman turtleneck is a better one. So I will be returning this one. The next piece that I got was kind of an impulse, kind of not. It's the coat dress and I got this one in the Heather oatmeal color and it's in a size small which is my usual size in Aritzia. Going off of first impression this one feels so so soft. I thought it was going to be more stiff just because of how it looked on the website but it is very soft like very stretchy and it feels like it's going to be very comfortable to put on. It is a form-fitting dress so I don't know how appropriate this would be for like an office. Oh it's actually sealed in the buttons which I guess it's nice because then you don't get like weird gaps if you like sit or if you're in like a weird position so you don't have to worry about that. The material does feel thick. It doesn't feel like a threadbare dress which can make it look kind of cheap and also can get stretched out in the wash really easily. So this one looks like it's going to hold its shape although don't take my word on that. Not the most forgiving I would say. The top button does unbutton but none of the rest of them do. It's kind of in between like casual and dressy. I don't know if I'd be comfortable wearing this in an office setting but I feel like it's also on the dressier side for me to wear it casually so I'm kind of on the fence about it. Definitely um, very trendy. Dresses like this are really gonna be a big trend this spring so if you're into that I would check this one out. I don't see myself reaching for this one on a regular basis. The next thing that I want to show you is also an old favorite of mine. It's the Modern Cargo Pant in Birch. I already have this one in a brown color. So easy to style, super high-waisted, and they make your butt look amazing. I size down for this. I'm usually a size four, but for these ones, I do get a size two and they fit me perfectly. There's no waist gap, and if you have like larger thighs or larger hips like I do, these are also very accommodating of that. On camera, it looks very white, but it's actually more of like a beige cream with like a warm undertone. They make your butt look amazing, really like lifts it up and it doesn't have a waist gap, but it's also not restricting. The material has some stretch and some give, so still just so comfortable, perfect for like that winter to spring transition. The next pair of bottoms I got were a pair of wide leg trousers. This is the effortless pants in gray taupe. Material is that crepe material that Aritzia uses for a lot of their pants. This is definitely one of those ones that you can either dress up or dress down because they are kind of that dress pant material. So you can definitely wear this to work with a blazer or a nice sweater, or you can wear this with like a sweatshirt, 
and just wear it casually with a pair of sneakers. So in real life, these are actually a little bit more pink than they looked on the website. So I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep this. They are very, very long and they also fit big. So I like my pants to fit right here, but these are actually falling down. So I would definitely size down if you're gonna get these pants. Even if I pull them up to where I want them to fit, they're still a lot of room at the hem. I would definitely need to get them hemmed as well. So that's also something to keep in mind. These are definitely a very like breezy, airy pair of pants. Great for summer and spring and also great for work. The material does feel very nice. It's fully opaque, but it's not super thick. It's still very flowy. I definitely cannot keep this one. I think I would exchange it for a smaller size, which actually works out great because I'm not a huge fan of this color either. I think it Lane's a little too pink for me. I, I want something that's a little bit more brown or beige. So yeah, these ones are going in the return pile and so is this hoodie. So the last pair of pants that I got was actually a pair of jeans. These are the Denim Forum Joni high rise jeans. They're a straight leg fit, light wash, and they have a little bit of distressing at the knees. I've never purchased a pair of Aritzia jeans before, so I'm really excited to try this one out for you guys. The reviews, it looks like these run large. So I actually got a size 25, usually a 26 in jeans. These are the length 29. So I think they'll be a good length for me. I like 29, I like 30, um, 28 is also good. These look like they're good quality. They're not super stiff denim, but they do feel like they're well-made and would be very comfortable. These jeans fit like pretty perfectly for something that I've never tried out before. I would say definitely size down because I'm usually 26 and these are 25 and they fit me perfectly. I have enough room at the hips and at the thighs. There is a slight waist gap right here, but I think it's fine because you don't want it to be like too tight, but you can also tuck in a sweater or something like that and it would still look very clean and not bulky. Yeah, these are a true straight leg. I think the length is perfect for me. They hit just below the ankle, which I think is really flattering. It makes your legs look kind of longer than they are. And I really like the distressing on these as well. So overall, very happy. I think that these will be perfect for the spring and summer. Just a really great pair of light wash distressed jeans to throw on for an easy casual outfit. So before I forget, I also wanted to show you another piece that I'm wearing right now. The Sunday Mess Lamora cardigan in this white color. I have this one in a size small. Such good quality. I'm just obsessed with the cable knit detail. There's like a varying texture to the cable knit, which makes it a little bit more interesting. It also looks more expensive than say a cable knit from H&M or somewhere that's a little bit more affordable. I think you can also wear this one like open or closed and it just adds a little bit of texture to your outfit, which I really enjoy. That was everything that I got from this Aritzia order. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my first impressions and going through this process with me of try on clothes, deciding whether to keep or return them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more fashion content. As always, I hope you guys all have a really great week and I'll see you in my next video.